Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Today I want to talk about the Fury Arma Pro 98. I know many of you have been waiting for this review. The Fury rackets have really impressed me. From the Arma Pro, which is a 101 square inch racket that I reviewed I think a year ago or so, uh, it was really nice, but it had a bit too much power, a bit too much explosiveness in the string bed. So when I tried this one, uh, I was optimistic about it. Uh, but it actually exceeded my expectations. It's a very nice racket, this, the Arma Pro 98. Comes with a leather grip, comes in at 305 grams on strong. The swing weight is uh, slightly beefy, more like Technifiber rackets, around 330 with strings on. So, you know, close to 300 unstrung. So you need to like these types of racket that has a bit more heft. It feels a bit like a pro staff. I feel a bit like Federer when I play with this. It doesn't look anything like Federer when I play with it, but this is just how it feels. It feels like, a, you know, an RF-97 that kind of landed in between uh, the pro staff 97 and, uh, and the proper RF-97. This one is nice and stable, excellent on volleys. Like, I really love it at the net. Good serve. Good power, surprising power from all areas of the court. Compared to the Pro Staff 97, this one is a lot more powerful. I don't know where exactly where the power comes from. They, they talk about different energy return technologies and stuff like that. I'm not super excited about like marketing jargon. And uh, I really feel like this is mainly lead tape, but it's kind of uh, painted over on the sides here. Uh, because it feels like there's something going on there. But I don't know for sure. Of course, it's just me throwing out some theories. But whatever they've done with this racket, uh, it works. Uh, it's a very nice racket to play with. Some thought it was a little bit firm, and that's possibly the case, that it's, it's a little bit firm, so it's not something for you with arm problems. I think it's it's not the most comfortable racket. It's not a super stiff or harsh racket at all, uh, but it, it's just on that range when you, when you actually can feel it a bit if you have a, a stiffer polyester. So string it accordingly. And uh, I, I tried it with a bunch of different strings. I like the control. I like to deaden some of the power from it because it's surprisingly powerful, as I said. So I use the Dunlop Explosive Spin. 1.24 gauge, I think this is. And I string it around 23 kilos. And then I feel like I get more control from the frame. I tried it with like Torbyte 120. It was fine, but the string life goes pretty quickly. It's a little bit like the Solinko Whiteout in a way that the strings move a bit. Uh, so the string life in this racket is not going to be huge. But uh, there's definitely something going on in the string bed because it, sometimes the ball just shoots out with some extra power, uh, surprising power. But overall, it, it gives you good control. Uh, it's just at some moments I feel like the, there might be a hot spot in the string bed or it just gets some extra energy. Uh, from from your swing. Uh, but overall, it's been one of my favorite rackets to play with. I really loved it from pretty much all areas of the court. Serve, volley, ground strokes. Feels very natural on the one-handed backhand. And it's one of the contenders for uh, my next racket of choice. I actually played my ITF tour matches, three of them at least so far, with this racket, which is uh, the racket I've used the most in these ITF uh, Masters event matches. So then you know how much I like this racket, how natural it feels to me. And uh, it's fun to say that about a brand that's completely comes out of nowhere. But I did like the, the 101 the version, so I thought that the, there was a potential for the 98. And it, there is. So there are many, many upsides, downsides, slightly erratic in the string, but at times, like there is some maybe hot spot or something where the ball gets extra power. It doesn't happen a lot, but I've felt it at times. And I think the general consensus is from other players that play with this that they all love it. But it's just that that explosive power can be a bit difficult to tame. So going for a dead poly, maybe a hybrid at a little bit higher tension is a possible uh, solution. I haven't tried a hybrid with like natural gut in this frame. That might be uh, the best idea, perhaps. Uh, but I do like it with the Dunlop explosive spin and uh, some deader string. Uh, if the string is, is very lively. I've, for me, I feel like the, the racket might be too powerful. It's surprisingly powerful, I think I've said that three times now, for a 98 square inch racket. Because it is a, you know, box beam style, 64 RA stiffness, quite head light. It's just a very well-balanced, well-executed racket that I think many of you who are into pro staff style rackets 
would like. Big fan of the Fury Armor Pro 98. Let's have a look at maybe if there's any silicone. I haven't checked that. As you can see, maybe there is some silicone in the racket, which gives it a kind of a pro stocky feel, just like that they added that there. So that's nice. Didn't need to add any weight to this racket. I did not remove the leather grip. I just played them as is. Simply one of my favorite 98 square inch rackets of the year. That is all for this review. I hope you found it useful. If you're in the woods for a new tennis racket, check out the Road to the Right Racket, my online course where you get... 36 videos leading you to my recommendations, which goes into all the different categories. And the feedback has been very good, so I'm very happy about that. Thank you very much. If you want to buy a racket or a string or a shoe, please use my affiliates. The links are in the description. I get a small commission if you purchase anything at no extra cost to you. Helps Tennis Nerds stay alive. I appreciate all of you. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.